Uh, for weeks, Kootenai Health has consistently treated more than 110 people suffering from COVID-19. Eleni Dow explains the COVID crisis healthcare workers are still battling. Another grim milestone for Kootenai Health. This month alone, they tell me they've hit 34 COVID deaths. That's the highest they've ever seen. Pre-COVID, they would average about 20 deaths a month. They hope things don't get worse. Relief is still not in sight for Kootenai Health. It's dealing with more deaths and consistently seeing more than 110 people with COVID getting treated in the hospital. More kids are being hospitalized as well, with two currently in their care. With high hospitalization rates, Kootenai Health says federal resources have been helpful. Staff from the federal government were supposed to leave by the end of the week, but they will now stay until at least November. Even with more staff on hand, though, it's still not enough to continue fighting this surge. I never thought we would get to this point to where we had this many COVID patients in an ICU setting uh, when we thought about these plans over a year ago. And uh, I, I really doubted we'd ever get there, but we're definitely there now. And and, and still trying to think of where, what, we, what do we do next. One treatment helping people stay out of the hospital is helping so far. At least that's what Heritage Health is seeing as it runs the monoclonal antibody treatment center. A look inside the treatment center with Governor Little and what you should expect if you need it coming up on 4 News Now at 6. In Coeur d'Alene, Eleni Dow, 4 News Now.